I love stationery. I love beautiful stationery and I especially love beautiful stationery that feels like it's from a bygone time that has a vintage look to it. And today we are going to unbox an amazing haul of vintage journaling ephemera. I can't wait to share it with you. And I'm also going to share with you a beautiful feather pen that is under $15 and has a really beautiful story. So if that sounds good to you, welcome to my abiding journal. My name is Kelsey Lee and let's start unboxing. So here we are with my very unassuming, unpretentious box from Your Creative Studio. They sent me this box of vintage journaling ephemera and stationery. And as you can see, I have not opened it, so we are going to discover what is inside together. I do see that it is called Bake on Top, which I think might have to do with the theme of the stationery. I think they change the theme every single month, but let's go ahead and see if that's the case. There you can see the brand, your creative studio, and a really sweet little thank you note that says thank you for your purchase. I hope you will enjoy this collection. And it indeed looks like it has a baking theme. As you can see, this back of the card has a woman with a little pie, which would be so cute to use in our journaling. And already their logo paper that they have that's keeping everything together I'm so looking forward to using in my journaling. I love when different sticker companies and journaling ephemera companies think about their packaging as something that we journalers inevitably would want to use in our journals as well. And this is definitely the case here. This paper is so pretty. So let's see what we have here. So everything is kind of individually packaged. There's lots of fun goodies. I don't even know where to start. Let's start with these little cards that they have. So this looks like a pack of stickers potentially. It has a little pretzel on the front and fun fact, soft pretzels are one of my all time favorite foods. I live in central Pennsylvania and nobody knows how to make a soft pretzel like the Amish know how to make a soft pretzel and the Mennonites. Oh my goodness. So, so good. Oh, it's making me want to go get one right now. But I think that these stickers are probably just versions <laughs> of baked goods. Oh yes. Oh, they're all different ones. So not just pretzels in here, but all different types of bread stickers like croissants and some baked goods. Ooh, look at those waffles. That would be really fun to use for a spread about going out for brunch. This says that it is a washi tape. So this is like a really pretty vintage plaid. Be great for a spread it's about kind of doing a picnic or obviously <laughs> kitchen, in the kitchen spreads and baking. So really pretty, definitely a versatile washi, which I appreciate that it's not so baking themed that I can't really use anything unless it's about baking. Let's see what's in here. This is a sticker book that reminds me of the ones that you can get at Obujo. It's called Time Machine, and it's just some like really beautiful, very vintage style washi type stickers. So lots of vintage images, kind of like ad images. That one with January would be great to use in a spread that is about the month of January. Next we have, I think, some more vintage stickers. These ones seem like they're more of the retro style, which I will admit is not my personal favorite way of using vintage ephemera in my journaling. I'm not really a retro style of journaler. Ooh, but these are neat. These are actually 
vellum pieces. I thought they were going to be stickers, but they're really beautiful sheets of vellum. This, <laughs> we had this one of spreading peanut butter and the little glasses with the dogs on it. Oh goodness. This one says, I owe you a romantic meal for two. How cute would that be to use for a Valentine's Day spread? So there's just a bunch of different ones. These ones are more of just like a light paper. They're not really a vellum. <laughs> this one actually would be really good to use for one of our ice climbing trips because the guys always bring a giant pack of Oreos and just devour the Oreos all on their own. I think one of the girls we go with eats like two. I don't really eat a ton of Oreos. It's not something that I'm ever super interested in. But yes, the guys just eat <laughs> Oreos nonstop and that could be a really good image to use to talk about that in my journaling. So that is in this bigger pack, but there's also a bunch of little ones, oh my goodness, in here as well. Just like so many stickers. Again, some of these are not really my personal style, which is always something to be cautious about when doing subscription boxes and services is sometimes it helps you to get out of your comfort zone and try new things but also sometimes you're just gonna get things that simply aren't your style. Like this one is very uh, cartoony, uh, kind of manga style, which is not something I personally like at all, uh, but tons of people do. It's just not my personal taste. This one says it's a wood stamp, and it looks like it's a wood stamp of a hand holding up a tray that could be good for doing like dinner parties or when I make a meal that I especially am proud of, like it's being served on a silver tray. And then this one looks like it might be a piece of cake, judging by the little image on the outside. Yes, it looks like a slice of cheesecake with a little cherry on top. So just a wood stamp. Again, everything is with the baking theme. So something about your creative studio is I do believe they tell you what the theme is. So you can choose to skip themes maybe that you're not interested in and only get ones that you are. Like I've seen they've done floral themes, which I personally would have loved. And then this one is baking, which I do enjoy baking, but I don't think I would be using these ones as much as I would maybe use things from another kit. So they sent this one to me and I did not know what they were going to choose to send me, but if I was to choose subscriptions for myself, I would just pick themes that I personally am interested in rather than getting every single month, which maybe would be spending more money than I want to on themes that I don't necessarily love. But I do love the way that your creative studio puts together their boxes and the types of things that they include. I mean, all of these items are so beautiful. It's just a matter of making sure that the theme aligns with something that you would use regularly. So these ones, again, are rub-ons and they are have some flowers and other things, but definitely still sticking to the baking theme with bread and pies and whisks. Um, I do like this little sourdough one again, if I get back into sourdough, I think that would be fun. So these are like really neat tissue paper and I love the design of it. it has these little chef hats and then bread and wheat on them so the texture of this would be so fun to use in your journal. I really love the variety of things that they include because it really gives you a fun mix of items to play with in your journal and like I said if you can get a theme that you would really enjoy I think you would get a lot of use out of these items. These ones are really pretty. I would definitely be using these a lot. 
This is called Pine Branch. And again, the items really remind me of the packs that you would get from Obujo. And for the price of these Your Creative Studio boxes, I do think you're getting a really good deal for the amount of stuff that they put in here. So there's some really beautiful floral washi stickers in here. That would be really fun to use. This one says Sweet scented. That could be good for talking about like a candle I guess. And then this says Europe so it would be good for some traveling type spreads. Again just really pretty vintage ephemera pieces. I like this little mushroom one for the fall. Really good for layering all of these pieces. And then there is another pack of stamps, and these come in a really nice uh, little bag. And these are, again, very much baking themed with like little chefs and spoons, and one says, bake the world a better place. That's very cute. So those will be fun to use, and these are to be used with an acrylic block for stamping. And then the last item in here is paper ephemera. This says it contains 24 sheets, six sticker papers, six vellum paper, six art paper, and six pattern paper. So here are what some of those look like. This one with the chalkboard and whisk and bread box. The little teapot. I love kind of the cottage core vibes that this kit has as well, even though it is very much baking themed. I feel like you could use a lot of these just for like a general cottage core, cozy day in your home type of spreads as well. So pretty. This one is gorgeous with the pancakes. Look how beautiful that is. So there's all different ones and then they have the same ones in vellum. So there you have it. That is everything that came in this Your Creative Studio box. So if you are interested in checking out Your Creative Studio to see what other themes of kits that they have for your journaling, I think it is a really great way to get started and get access to a lot of different items. It is a great way to have curated journaling supplies sent right to your door, especially when you're feeling overwhelmed by shopping for journaling supplies on your own. That is a great place to start because they are the ones curating different themes and that way you can just select the theme that makes sense for you and get that month's box and then have tons of different items to use in your journal. The last thing I wanted to share with you, as I said, is another vintage stationery find which has a really special story. And it is this feather pen that came with little feather pen ink that sits in this beautiful little holder on your desk. So it just sits in there and then the pen sits in this little well that it has for it and it can just sit up on your desk. So frankly, I haven't used the pen yet. I actually was gonna do that with you right now. But I personally think even if this pen does not work super well, it is so beautiful just to have as decoration on your desk because this pen costs less than $15 on Amazon such a good price and let me show you the pen a little bit closer so it has here this really nice little metal nib a nice metal body and then inside is a feather with these little paint splatters on them i love the body of the pen so much it's so beautiful and it did actually come in a really beautiful gift set and came with a, another nib as well. And what is so special about this pen, I will share with you as I try to write with it, and that is that this pen was a gift that I received for Christmas. 
I received it this Christmas and I received it from my mom and if you are familiar with my channel and have been here for a while then you might be confused by that statement because my mom passed away in September of 2021 and last Christmas was Christmas 2022 and so she obviously was no longer with us for this last Christmas. And yet this gift was from her. I picked it up from under the tree and it said from mom. And I looked at my dad and he said it was one of the closet finds, as we say, because my mom had a wonderful, although sometimes impractical habit of buying Christmas gifts throughout the year whenever she saw something that made her think of someone and then she would stash them away in all different places all throughout the house and inevitably she would always lose some Christmas gifts and forget about them and so they would turn into birthday gifts after Christmas had already passed or she would rediscover them to give us the next Christmas and in this case she had bought this gift for me and stored it away and she passed away before she could give it to me and my dad actually did not find it for the first Christmas that we spent without her but he had found a few other gifts which was really hard but also special uh, to sort of have her memory and her love still being shared with us in that way but this last Christmas I wasn't expecting to still have that happen I thought any lost Christmas gifts had already been received the previous year but I was wonderfully surprised to find one one last gift from my mom under the tree and it was this pen and I had a strong feeling that she probably bought it on Amazon because she bought a lot of things on Amazon. And indeed, I was able to find it so that I could share it with you. It's less than $15, so it's not like she broke the bank buying this pen for me. That was never the point. The point is that she knew me. She knew me better than anybody. and. She knew that this is something that I would love. Even if it didn't work well, I would love to have it just as decoration on my desk. And so that is the story of this pen. It is a beautiful reminder of how my mom's love carries on, even though she is no longer with us here on Earth. I still have her love with me every day. So that is what this pen means to me. I don't expect this pen to mean all of that to you, but if you think it's pretty and you want to have your own, then I will have the link in the description box for you. So that is it fam. Those are some of my new vintage stationery supplies that I'm excited to play with in my journal. If you want to see how I use some of my journaling supplies, definitely check out this playlist for some journal with me's or you might like my latest video. And until next time, keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life abiding in faith, hope, and love.